Back in late 2010, Vicstar123, Straight Up Knives and Miss Danielle and quite a few others founding a new style of Call of Duty. The game at the time was forged in gun battles and overpowered streaks, however, knifing had started to pick up and the whole community became invested. Nine years later, and knifing is but a mere shadow of its former glory. In the wide community of Call of Duty, knifing is considered newbie and a cheap way to play. This of course coming from the people who will spend the entire game behind a shield or relying massively on overpowered streaks. Knifing has slowly been nerfed as the years have passed and it's fair to reason that Call of Duty want to kill it dead. In this list, we'll be looking at a few ways in which Black Ops 4 has secretly nerfed the knifing system. Without further ado, I'm XMK Epic from XMK Clan, and here's 10 ways in which Black Ops 4 has killed knifing. Number 10, generating axes. So let's play our scenario. A genie comes up to you and says, you and two other people can have three wishes. The first two people go up and get all three wishes given to them. Whereas when you request three wishes and the genie gives you two wishes and says you'll have to wait nine to 18 years for wish three. A bit confusing, I know, but in Black Ops 4 terms, it makes sense. Given that World War II was massively overspammed by equipment, Treyarch have seen to it that all equipment from previous games now has to be put through some time delay before players can use it. This makes sense as it allows guns and knives to have more of a standpoint in games, but then again poses an argument that Treyarch are out to punish people who knife given that if you select two axes as part of your pick 10, you have to spawn in with eight of your 10 items selected, whilst other players get all 10 given in their class at all times, causing question for imbalance. Number 9, freezing the cooldown time. Combat axe in Black Ops 4 is quite possibly the slowest throwing axe in COD history. The throwing animation is weird as you have to use 0.1 seconds to hold the axe ready and a further 0.28 seconds in order to throw. In order to make life easier for knifers, some tend to hold the axe while running. This allows the knifer to get the axe off just 0.1 seconds quicker than usual, allowing for a bit of an advantage. In doing this, the game will freeze your axe regeneration timer. Therefore, if you're trying to load up a second axe, it will halt it whilst you have hold of the first axe. This scenario sucks for knifers, as once again the game punishes players for trying to get a slight advantage. That advantage complained by another player who is able to heal and fire a weapon at the same time I might add. This also affects the start of the game, as cross maps are now non-existent as a tactic. It's another example of how Black Ops 4 want to eradicate knifing. Number 8, Kill Cams Removed. This is something that in the grand scheme of things may not seem like much, but when the game was in the early days, Black Ops 4 became obsessed with play of the game and introducing this new concept as kill cams were a thing of the past. The Call of Duty community were like, cool, just keep kill cams in S&D for trick shots and knifers. During the early days, however, Black Ops 4 had the game poised towards making play of the game an S&D thing as well as in every general game mode, which nobody wanted. Players had to be careful with their kills, not getting headshots in order to make sure that the final kill was the kill cam. But then Treyarch, in the first patch, decided to remove all travel paths from the game. It may not seem like much, but a handful of the community still played the games and used kill cams as channel content to grow. And in doing so, Treyarch once again castrated knifers by removing a feature of theirs that they had come to love. And they took that love and stomped a massive hole in the community. Number seven, negating the second ability. So for some egg-headed reason, Treyarch decided that the specialists weren't powerful enough in BO3 and decided, hey, let's have both abilities available to the players. Therefore, Treyarch have seen to it that players cannot equip an axe and a stun grenade at the same time anymore, given that they both fall into the same button placement. This could mainly be due to the healing system, but still, it shows that even though a Titan can have extended mags, FMJ, and a ground shaking operator mod while standing behind an assault shield with a trophy system on the floor, stuns and axes are too overpowered to coexist together for one player. Number six, streaks. Going back on a nostalgia trip, if a player was to throw an axe at a streak in previous Call of Duties, the axe would bounce off the streak, causing the axe to drop back down and be collected by the player, regardless of explosions. In Black Ops 4 though, throwing an axe at a streak will make the axe disappear once exploded, causing an RCXD card to still get the kill from the explosion, even if you get the RCXD before the player presses the explode button. In logic terms, it makes sense, but in comparison to how things worked in older CODs, it comes across as yet another excuse to punish knifers. Number five. Ammo Pack and Scavenger. Scavenger is a weird perk as it grants ammos for all players if they need a refill, as well as ammo packs from Crash granting players with any ammo they require. In previous Call of Duties, Axe's knives were granted as part of this system as running Scavenger, meaning you could pick up axes from packs on the floor and giving knifers a fair and balanced 
run alongside others. Knifers can no longer experience this luxury, whereas the other players still can. It's improving the game for gun runners, but also nerfing people who have the playstyle of knifing. Number four, the throwing glitch. As I said before, the throwing speed is already slow at an abysmal 0.38 seconds. This is bad enough, yet Call of Duty just want to add more imbalance by having an issue with the axes where once it's thrown, you must wait 0.2 seconds before chucking another axe, otherwise the player animation messes up the throw and cancels your axe. This is especially annoying when performing a squad wipe, as it comes across as the game is slowing down the knifing even more than it needs to be, granting an unfair advantage to gun users. There is no proof as to whether this is intentional or just an unnoticed glitched, but again causes stress to a knife in gameplay, especially when an enemy's gun never jams. Number 3, The Gun Melee. Pause the video now and watch Tiger's everything wrong with the knifing operator mods in Call of Duty. The long of the short is that meleeing someone with a gun is 145 damage out of 150 and that just shooting one or two bullets first and gun bashing is far, far quicker and more effective than knifing with an operator mod that requires three of your pick 10. With this tactic in mind, knifing is almost not required and this system has a more effective means of killing players. Also, the original melee is that inconsistent that players can melee you with their weapon and melee you again in the time it takes from you to recover from one knife attempt. Just throwing the whole balanced theory out the window. Number two. Fog of War and Acoustic Sensor. These two can get in the bin, possibly the worst two things in Black Ops 4 at the moment, regarding specialists. Fog of War is a player personalised radar that has no counter effect other than counter UAV, that allows every teammate to see where enemies are located via red dot on the minimap, rather than, I don't know, using their eyes? Acoustic Sensor is a buffed version of Sixth Sense from Black Ops 3, where any noise or movement nearby is highlighted with a red sensor that alerts enemies players are trying to flank. Couple this with a sensor dart or squad link where players can see a 360 circle around their teammates, and this is majorly overpowered, given that knifers are usually used to flanking and getting behind enemy lines. This really badly nerfs the knifers as players now know within a 5 second gap that someone is trying to flank them and the game offers no concrete hiding perks for knifers. Sure you've got Dead Silence and Ghost but they don't 100% cover players on the flank. Also throwing a combat axe might as well be popping a bag of crisps or exploding a grenade as the noise is so loud that once one axe is thrown the enemies are alerted via acoustic sensor and are already 12 foot in the air shooting their wildfire spitfire guns another operator mod that complements a shooting gun, and the opportunity of a balanced kill is once again overpowered by leniency to gun players. And number one, no ballistic knife. Through fan favouritism, in Black Ops 2, the ballistic knife became a vital part of a knifer's setup. Not only being able to knife players, but also shoot projectile knives at other players became such a fan favourite that players were screaming for it in Black Ops 3 but Treyarch waited until halfway through the next Call of Duty to involve it in some way of getting players to go back to BO3. Given that Black Ops 4 and the Operator Mod Attachment System, Treyarch have once again missed the bullet, no pun intended, by not adding the Ballistic Knife. Keeping the weapon out, even though it work well as an Operator Mod for the Combat Knife, is a possibility to rejuvenate the game for knifers and offer an alternative playstyle to knifing and encourage players to charge ahead onto enemies. But keeping this gem out of Black Ops 4 and all other reasons stated in this video just shows how Black Ops 4 has given up on knifing and are constantly against us. And that's the top 10. Did I leave anything out? Please let me know your thoughts on the Black Ops 4 knifing system and what you would change, add in, take out of the game and subscribe down below if you're new. Thank you for watching. I've been XMK Epic. Stay epic guys.